I'm Kingsley, and this is The Naked Truth. What's up, you guys, and welcome to the Skin Wars Season 2 After Show, The Naked Truth. I'm your host, Kingsley, and I am beyond thrilled that the show is finally back. More bodies, more paint, and more episodes. Ten of them, in fact. And hey, I might even pin the pasties on one of the body models. But today, I'm actually gonna be a body model, and I'm getting myself painted by one of the contestants from the show. But first, we have to talk about what happened during the premiere. The contestants walked in, and the first thing I noticed was not their clothes, or even their personalities, but the hair. I wanna rub the unicorn horn for luck. Rio and Lana were rocking red, and then you had Erin with her long purple locks. The three of them definitely represented like two-sevenths of the rainbow. I was completely overwhelmed by all the hair beauty. I thought, oh my gosh, is this skin wars or weave wars? And so we get to the competition. There's a love connection between Marcio and Lana, which is really just Marcio being obsessed with Lana. Lana, you need help? You can bring me water if you want. <laughs> <laughs> me and Lana definitely have a chemistry there. You can have some of my water. Thank you. I don't think Lana's the one who is thirsty, sir. For the first concept challenge, they had to morph their models into chest set pieces, and I was just completely in shock at how good everyone looks. And I was like, hell yeah, chess. <laughs> My favorites so far after this episode are definitely Avi and Lana. I just love Lana's accent. I'm shiny. <laughs> I'm hoping she goes far just so I can hear her voice. And then there's Fernello, who is super talented, and he thinks that he needs to let everybody else know it. Listen, I wanna take out my golden shovel because I'm about to bury some people right now. Just pick up your paintbrush and let your art do the talking. So the time has come for me to be body painted. I'm actually getting the D done by one of the contestants from the show, Cheryl Ann, and I am so nervous. I don't know if this paint's gonna be cold. I'm like, do we have a microwave around here? Can you microwave paint? I don't know what's about to happen. I've used the bathroom. Apparently, I can't move. Nope. I'm about to be a statue. It's not something I ever thought I'd be doing in my life. But I think I'm ready. Okay. I can't see what you've done to my hair, but I feel brushed. Okay. I just gave my left arm its first break, and I'm twitching, and it hurts. I'm going up your nose. Oh, God. I think I would do this. No, I'm lying. I would never ever do this again. So full body is out of the question unless I was getting paid copious amounts of money. I can't even imagine how long that would take. You see this? Can you see what's happening? Aww. Don't aww. <laughs> aww for the name of art. Working with Cheryl Ann has been great. She's been amazing. Keeps telling me I'm doing a good job, which helps stroke my painted ego a little bit. And no, seriously, it, it'll be like a good thing to look back on. Just be like, hey, remember that time I got body painted? and stood there like a petrified tree. It's insane. I look like a damn chameleon. Oh, hey! Make sure you tune into GSN next Wednesday at 9, 8 central for a brand new episode of Skin Wars. And then come here to watch the after show. I'm gonna be with Rio, and it's gonna be spectacular. Subscribe to Door 3 so you don't miss anything, and leave a comment below letting me know what you think about this. And by this, I mean this, as in me, stuck against this wall, looking like a sign. Peace.